There's, there's two points here for why India went for it. Uh, one was they wanted something cheaper than even Centurion and definitely cheaper than Chieftain. Um, but also India wanted to um, repatriate the, the construction uh, for very good national security reasons and Vickers was willing to sell them the, um, the, the wherewithal to make this mm. thing. Um, so, you know, uh, and this kept Vickers alive for like 20 years, this, this, mm. this sale. So it was, it, was, it was a big deal. Yeah. And the main requirement was that the Mark I had to have a L7 105mm rifled gun. Uh, it was accurate and effective and much cheaper to operate and supply than the L11 that was a 120mm rifled gun that was being put into the Chieftain. Chieftain. Mm. Look, let's, let's face it, the, the L11 definitely had some good characteristics and when Chieftain was successful, the, the L11 was a big part of it, but, but no one in the world wanted it and everyone in the world had wanted the L7 105. So there, there is a clear and stark difference between the two there. Yeah. India had first looked to West Germany, uh, who from 1953 was allowed to think about privately building tanks again via the Porsche company, uh, as there was no Bundeswehr yet. Uh, for a tank, they could build themselves uh, in 1954. So this is basically, they went to Porsche and said, hey, Germany, you're allowed to build tanks again. Uh, it's been You've had eight years in the wilderness and mm -hmm. we heard you were pretty good at building tanks uh, mm -hmm. in a certain period of time. Um, so do you want to build us a tank and then we'll start building it ourselves? Um, uh, in, so they went to them in 1954. Uh, 